In this lecture, I will teach you how to place a logo composition and how to reveal this logo composition with a track mat and a simple rounded shape. Welcome in the next step, where we finally will try to reveal our logo. Once you created this rounded dot animation, please select once again all layers, right click, pre-compose and call it as you want. I will for example call it circular dots. So I'll remember this is the circular movement around the screen. And perfect, we have a pre-composition which no one will harm. Now I will import the example logo I want to have. I have for example this example After Effects logo. That's what I'm going to reveal. I've imported it into After Effects and I'll place it in the screen just so it helps me to edit this composition. I see it's very, very big. Let me make it smaller by holding the Shift key. And I need to also pre-compose this because I want this to be a separate composition. Let me extend this, right click, pre-compose and I'll call it logo. Now any logo you have, anything you will edit, you will go inside of this composition. This composition, I see this composition is now very small, but if you want to resize this composition, that's no problem. Composition, composition settings, and I'll make it a normal full HD composition. This will make it easier for me to edit. I see this logo is really big. Okay, I close this down. I have this logo here. We can always resize it either here or by going inside this composition. Now watch this amazing trick which we'll use here. Let me maybe place the logo a, because I want it to be somewhere around this. Now we'll work on our reveal. Please go to the toolbox and select the ellipse tool. I'll try to make a perfect ellipse here in the middle. It doesn't matter how big it will be because we will change its size. Now I need to go to align and align it in the middle. I also need to select the anchor point and place it perfectly in the middle. I'll open my title action save so I see where the middle is. I see the middle, I press space, pan behind tool to select this shape layer, select the anchor point and place it exactly here. Okay, let's say I am very precise here. Boom, you can go as close as you want, place it in the middle, that's perfectly okay. Now this shape layer, click on it, press S. In the scale, I want it to be at the beginning 0% and a few frames later, like half a second or one second, I want it to be big enough to uncover this logo. Now I of course need to place those keyframes at the beginning so it will be easier to edit like that. Okay. And the last steps we need to make is placing the shape layer above the logo. Now what you have to do to reveal itself with this shape layer. On the logo composition, click on track mat and select alpha mat shape layer one. I'll also call this revealer and watch what happens. As this shape layer goes around, it slowly reveals our logo. Now, if I want it to happen quicker, I select this keyframe and I place it here. If I want this to happen slower, I place this keyframe here. This is what you can do with track mats. Track mats always work with the layer above this layer. If you don't see track matting, select the second button to open up modes and track mats. Once again, I want to select those keyframes, right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them to make the animation a bit slower here. Okay, that's a really nice reveal. I can now close my title action save. This is what we have until now. And in the next lesson, we'll work on the movement of the entire composition and the logo. Because now it's really plain and a bit simple.